Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I feel like that's all I do on my channel, which I mean, hey, is what it is. It's my channel, right? So anyway, we're going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to be talking you guys through it and the first thing I'm going to do, if I can find it, oh here it is is I'm going to be priming my face with the Professional Matte Rescue um, Primer. And I'm going to be applying it all over my face. I just recently got this a little while ago and needless to say, I actually really like it. Um, I like the texture a lot compared to the other Professional Primers. So, I really like this stuff and it smells really good too. Currently having one, two breakouts and the rest are, the rest are like scarring. But, um, I just gotta highlight a little bit. But, um, yeah. Um, applying this like normal. So we just applied the primer. The next thing I'm going to do is um, apologize for the lighting in this video. I can go ahead and tell you it's going to be bad, but yeah. So first things first is we're going to do foundation. And the foundation I'm using today is my Kat Von D Locket foundation. And I'm in the color light. And then I don't even know if it's focusing. I hope it is. But anyway. The next one I'm going to be using is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. And this color is kind of hard to see, but I'm in light medium. And it's a way too dark for me. So I usually mix the two together and get a pretty good like medium. I've been liking fuller coverage here recently. So, But what's so funny is I hate the Locket Foundation on its own because it's you can definitely see my pores a lot more so yeah we kind of got like a medium type of color I don't know it's been working <laughs> for me it's still kind of a little bit too dark but if you blend it you really won't be able to tell and I got way too much on the back of my hand so I'm just using my buffing brush and we're just gonna start kind of like stippling this off. Now I'm going to be taking my Naked Skin and I'm in the color Light, Warm, it has two colors so I don't know if it's light or warm or light warm, what's the deal with that, uh, and I thought I just broke my Becca highlight, anyway, so I'm just going to be dotting this under my eyes for a little bit of brightness. Now I'm going to be setting everything and you guys know what I'm using. Maybelline Dream Wonder in the color Porcelain Ivory with my Sonia Kashuk number 100 brush. Now 
now that that's done we're going to do some slight contouring i'm using my elf complexion brush and i'm going to grab my anastasia contour kit and we're going to use this color right down here it's kind of like an ashy tone i can't think of the name off the top of my head but that's the one that i pretty much always use to contour with I'm using my Bella Bomba by Two, not Too Faced Benefit, excuse me. And it looks like this, if I can show you. It's like this, and I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush for that. Right, now moving straight into highlight. I'm using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the color Moonstone. Looks like this. Love this. All right, now moving straight into eyebrows. Kiss to bring the salon home. You guys know how that goes with my double ended. Um, eyebrow brush Now we're just going to be doing a simple winged eyeliner. So I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible, the Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. Looks like this. Brush looks like this. Best liquid liner ever. Now that the eyeliner's on, time for some mascara. I'm using the Miss Manga Rock um, Voluminous, yada, yada, yada. This is the waterproof one. For a second coat, I'm using my... Power Volume 24 Hour, I think by L'Oreal, I'm not too sure. This is, again, a waterproof one. And then for a final coat, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Super Sizer. I love the wand on this. And that is it. I think we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go now and I will see you in the next video. Bye.